Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my Week 14 College Football Picks here on Rivalry Week. Give this video a thumbs up if you're fired up for Rivalry Week. Also, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, we have a subscriber goal of 250 subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscriber button if you're new to the channel. Great, we appreciate if you do that. Also, share the video. Uh, that helps the YouTube analytics. So go ahead and share the video as well. Uh, so this is the last week of the regular season. Uh, just to let you know, a little side note, I'm doing the picks a little bit differently uh, this week. So there's no top 25 matchups in these picks, nor the Virginia-Virginia Tech matchup. Uh, those picks are done in previews uh, this week, so go check out those previews on my YouTube channel. All the previews are already uploaded and ready for you guys to watch. So uh, let's go over my records uh, through 13 weeks. Um, I do five categories overall. I am 163 and 97 against the spread. I am 126 and 134. In the straight up category, I am 97 and 39. My locks of the week, I am 46 and 20. And my upsets of the week, I am 22 and 42. The straight up category is the first 10 games you see. Um, I just call it the straight up category. Uh, locks of the week are, the, are uh, games 11 through 15 you're going to see. Those are my five locks of the week. And then my upsets of the week um, are the last five games you're going to see. And for it to be considered an upset, they have to be at least a three-point underdog. Also, another um, quick note, these spreads are from betnow.eu. Um, I just locked them in here about 11.15, 11.30. I'm filming this right now at 11.45. So, these are fresh new spreads at the time of film. So, let's get into it. 20 picks here. I'll give you the picks for these 20 games. Also, another quick note. Usually, every week, I usually pick a game from each conference to represent each conference. I did not have any games from the MAC. I just had, there was just a lot more better games, and I had to uh, pit those games in um, since it's rivalry week, and it matters. So, uh, let's get in here. Start off with the first game, the Egg Bowl, Ole Miss versus Mississippi State. Mississippi State, two and a half point favor at home. I'm going to go with the minor upset here. I do not have a good feeling about Mississippi State right now. I think Joe Moorhead, I'm going to be honest with you, I think he's going to leave um, possibly for a good group of five job. If not, uh, maybe a job like Rutgers or if Penn State uh, um, somehow, there's rumors of James Franklin, um, leaving Penn State because he wants a better job or something, um, maybe he goes there because he I, I just don't think is a good fit. I really have bad um, feelings about that. Ole Miss, Matt Luke, I like Matt Luke. Um, he might be let go at the end of the season, but because uh, that team was expected to make a bowl game, at least the athletic department, and they didn't. But they were in a, some close games that didn't go their way, especially a game that probably should have gone their way against Cal. Uh, so, it happens, but I'm going to go Ole Miss here in a minor upset. Give me the Rebels in this one. I like them in kind of a low-scoring matchup, 27-24 Ole Miss, and I'll take Ole Miss plus two and, a half, two and a half. Next game, Washington State versus Washington. Uh, Washington is a seven and a half point favorite at home here in the Apple Cup. This game is on Friday. I'm going to go Washington here. Um, with the points though, that 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 point spread is really tough. That's a damn good point spread. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take Washington State plus seven seven and a half in the spread. But I'm gonna take Washington at the end. Uh, I think they win this one by a touchdown. Give me Washington, thirty to twenty three. This is a rivalry game here. The Apple Cup. It's in Seattle. Last year it was played in the snow. Washington State. Washington came on top. I think like twenty eight seventeen something like that. So it, it should be a competitive game. Both of these teams are six and five, um, hoping to get into a uh, at least an okay bowl game at this point. But I'm gonna go Washington uh, by a touchdown, thirty to twenty-three. But I'm gonna take Washington State with the points. Next game: South Florida versus UCF. UCF is a twenty-three and a half point favorite at home. Definitely give me UCF to win this one. The point spread though, once again. I can see South Florida kind of getting a backdoor cover. I'm not going to pick it. I'm going to say UCF wins this one by 24. Give me uh, give me the um, Knights in this one over over the Bulls in the uh, I-4 matchup here. 
or Battle of I-4. Give me them 41-17 UCF over the South Florida Bulls. Next game, Southern Miss versus FAU. This isn't really much of a rivalry game, but it is a pretty good game here in the Conference USA that I thought should have been thrown on here. Southern Miss kind of disappointed me last week against uh, Western Kentucky. I thought they were going to win that one and cover. They didn't. They ended up losing that game. FAU is a nine-point favorite at home. I really like this FAU team. I'm going to say they win, and I'm going to say they cover. I'm going to be a bit bold on this one. Give me the Owls in this one over the Golden Eagle, the Golden Eagles. I like them to win by 10. Give me FAU in this one. I'll go 34-24 Owls. Next game, Georgia State versus Georgia Southern. In-state matchup here in the Sun Belt. I don't know how much of a rivalry this is, but since it's an in-state matchup, I went with it. Georgia Southern, 7.5 point favorites at home. They won that triple option. Georgia State's been a pretty good team there this year. They did beat Tennessee, so that's actually a very good win for them. I'm going to go ahead and take Georgia Southern, though, but I'm going to say they don't cover. I'm going to take Georgia Southern by a field goal. I'm going to say Georgia Southern goes ahead and wins this one, 23-20. I just think they're a tick better than Georgia Tech. I mean, Georgia State, excuse me, more in Georgia Tech in a second, but uh, I think they're more better than Georgia State, and um, I'm going to take the my field goal, but I'm going to say Georgia State covers at 7.5. I'll take the points of Georgia State, but give me Georgia Southern at the end to outright win this one, 23-20. Next five games here, North Carolina versus NC State. NC State, 10-point underdogs at home. Uh, this is an in-state matchup here, NC State. Um, they're playing. They're going to try to play spoiler here against North Carolina, who has a shot to make a bowl game if they win this one. I think at the end, North Carolina wins this game on the road because I have no faith in NC State. But, I'm going to, but I do have faith in them covering the spread here. North Carolina, outside of the Mercer game, which is an FCS um, school, North Carolina, all of their games have been within a touchdown. So... I'm going to go ahead and take uh, NC State with the points. But North Carolina is going to win this game at the end by six. I like them to win this one, 34-28 over the Wolfpack. Next game, Texas A&M versus LSU. Um, LSU, 17.5 point favor at home. Uh, this is a big game here in the SEC. I mean, not very really like a big game with two of the uh, better teams. I think if A&M had a lighter schedule, they would be ranked in probably a 9-10 win team. But that schedule is just brutal. And um, I'm going to take LSU here to win the game. I am going to take A&M in the points, though. Um, 17 and a half is just a tick too much. Um, I'm going to take LSU to win this one by 16. I like uh, LSU to go ahead. And I like them to win this one 30-14 over the Aggies. Next game, Florida State versus Florida. Um, Florida's an 18-point favorite at home. I think Florida wins this game. But once again, just a bit too much points for me. I'm going to take Florida State in the points here. Uh, Give me Florida, though, to win this game at the end. I'm going to take Florida to win here. I like them to win this one 34-20 over Florida State, a two-touchdown win for the Gators in this rivalry game. Next game, Colorado versus Utah. Utah is a 28-and-a-half point favorite at home. This game's on ABC. This is the game that um, Chris Farrell, Kirk Kirkstreet is going to be calling. It's kind of interesting there. Man, um, Utah is definitely going to win this game. Um, that point spread, though, man, I, I would be reluctant to uh, – Take uh, Utah 28 and a half. Can Kawhi or maybe get a backdoor cover in this one? I think Utah is going to try to blow them out, honestly. I'm going to take Utah in the 28 and a half. I think Utah is going to try to blow out Colorado and then against Oregon next week. Um, they're going to go ahead and try to beat Oregon as much as they can because they still have a, a very legit shot to get into the playoffs. I like Utah in this one. I think they're going to go ahead and win this one. I think they, they play a Fooey Burger on Colorado. Give me uh, Utah in this one, 45-7. to seven. I think this game is going to be an absolute blowout. I'm going to take Utah by 38. Final game in the straight-up category, Cal versus UCLA. UCLA a one-point favorite at home. Uh, Cal is already in a bowl game. UCLA is already out of a bowl game. Uh, but this is a uh, rivalry game here in, in the state of California. 
I'm going to take UCLA and the one point. It's at home. It's in the Rose Bowl or wherever they call the stadium. I don't know if it's called the Rose Bowl year-round. But I'm going to take UCLA in this one. Give me uh, – go ahead and give me the Bruins in this one over the Golden Bears. I'll take them uh, by a field goal and kind of a high-scoring game. 31-28 UCLA. So now here are my five locks of the week. Um, yeah, here are my five locks of the week. Um Georgia versus Georgia Tech. Um, I'm going to take uh, Georgia plus 20. Excuse me. I'm going to take Georgia minus 28 on the road. Uh, Georgia Tech, no, they, they do not have a good offense. I can see Georgia shutting out Georgia Tech. I am going to give Georgia Tech a touchdown, though, in this game. I'm going to say Georgia goes ahead and wins this one. I have it 38 to 7, Georgia in this one. I have them winning by 31 in the old fashioned hate game. Next game, the Palmetto um, battle here. Uh, Clemson versus South Carolina. South Carolina, 27-point underdogs at home. I think this one's going to get ugly uh, kind of quickly. Clemson, I think, is going to come in here and just run them out the building. I'm going to take – I really like that number at 27. is right below 28. I'm going to take Clemson in an absolute blowout here. I think they hang at least 50-plus on South Carolina, honestly. Give me Clemson in this one, 55 to 17. I think this game's an absolute blowout. I'll take Clemson by 38. Next game, Vandy versus Tennessee. Bow here in the state of Tennessee. Um, I, I'm going to take Tennessee in the minus 21 and a half here. That actually should be a minus 21 and a half, not a plus 21 and a half. That is my fault there. Once again, another typo in these videos. I got to get better at that. Um, but t Tennessee's a 21 and a half point favorite, not a 21 and a half point underdog. That's my fault. But I'm going to take Tennessee here in the points. I think Tennessee's rolling. I think they're one of the hottest teams right now in college football. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Tennessee in this one. I like them to win 45 to 20 in this one, a 25 point win for the Vols. Um, Vandy, I know they've been owning them this decade against Tennessee. I think they have a winning record actually against Tennessee this decade, but I, th I really think this Tennessee team is hot right now. I'm going to take the Falls 45 to 20 and a 25 point win. Next game, the Civil War, Oregon State versus Oregon. Uh, can Oregon State get into a bowl game? No. Oregon is going to shut that down. They're going to be pissed after last week. They're going to really try to make an impression, in my opinion. I think this game is going to be an absolute blowout. Nothing is Oregon State, but this has more to do with Oregon. I think they hang 50-plus on them, honestly. Oregon State does not have a defense. Um, Oregon's defense is going to really try in this one. I like Oregon to win this game 56-20 to 20 in this one. I, I'll take. Um, I'll go ahead and take Oregon by 36. There's nothing is Oregon State right here. It's just that um, Oregon's going to really try to make an oppression. So give me the Ducks over the Beavers in this one, 56-20. to 20. Next game, Bow in Arizona here, in state rivalry game here, Arizona versus Arizona State. Arizona State, 13 and a half point favors at home. I really like that number. I'm going to take Arizona State to win and cover. Give me Arizona State in this one by 20. I'll take them to win this one here, 41 to 21. I think Arizona State, uh, they found some confidence. They're going to get the win here. Arizona, um, they're not, all they're going to try to do. Let's try to win an in-state rivalry game here. Arizona State all the way in a bowl game. Arizona out of a bowl game. I think Arizona really has some trouble. Um, I think Kevin Sumlin might be out of a job on Monday, honestly. So um, I'm going to go Arizona State here by 20, 41 to 21. Now here are my five upsets of the week right here. Uh, first upset, Iowa versus Nebraska. Nebraska, five and a half point underdogs at home. If they win, they're in the bowl game, Nebraska. Iowa already has everything kind of locked up. Uh, they're going to try to get a spot in the Outback Bowl or a bowl like that. I think Nebraska is going to win this game outright. I'm going to take them in the five and a half points. Uh, they're going to play to get try to get into a bowl game. It won't be a bowl. It won't be a good bowl game. It'll probably be the bowl game in Detroit. I forget the name of that bowl game. My apologies against the MAC team, but um. Give me Nebraska and the five and a half points. I'll take them out right. And I'll say Nebraska 27, Iowa 23. Next game, Louisville versus Kentucky. Louisville is a three-point underdog on the road. I'm going to take Louisville in this one. Um, Kentucky, nothing against them. All they do is run the ball. Louisville, 
In my opinion, they're a very physical team. I think they're a team capable of slowing that down. I think they're going to win this one outright in Kroger Field. Give me Louisville. Give me the Cardinals in this one. I'll take them 24-20 over the Wildcats. Kentucky, they're already in a bowl game. Louisville, I believe, is 5-6. and six, So they're going to try to vie for a bowl game. And I really like what that coaching staff is doing in Louisville, by the way. They're turning, they're turning around that program really quickly. Next game, Indiana versus Purdue. Purdue's a six-and-a-half point underdog at home. Uh, Purdue has really nothing to play for. Um, Indiana, they're already in a bowl game. Uh, they're seven and four. I want to take Purdue in the points here um, and them to win out right plus six and a half. Um, the game is in West Lafayette. I think this Purdue team's not a terrible team. I like to go Purdue here over Indiana. Give me Purdue in kind of a high scoring matchup. Thirty one to th- yeah, thirty one to twenty seven. Give me the trains over the uh, Indiana Hoosiers. And it's actually the board makers, not the trains. I just refer to them as the trains. Next game, Notre Dame versus Stanford. Stanford's a 16.5 point underdog at home. I want to take Stanford in the points. I think they win this one outright. Um, I, I'm going to be a bit bold here. I think Notre Dame at this point, they're just going to be playing for like a mid tier level bowl game, unfortunately. I don't think they're getting into a New Year's Six Bowl, uh, despite probably going to be 9 3, which is a good enough record. To get into one, and I think Stanford, well, dying three after this game. I think Stanford's going to win this game outright. Give me the Cardinals in this one. It's out there in the in the uh, Bay Area. I like Stanford to win this one, kind of a low scoring game. 21 to 19, Stanford. I'll take the my two. And then the final upset BYU versus San Diego State. Uh, the Aztecs are uh, plus three at home, three point underdogs at home. I'm going to take them at home um, to win and cover here, um, honestly, and pull off the minor upset here, even though it is considered an upset. Give me uh, San Diego State in this one. I'll take them 23 to 20 over BYU. BYU, um, they're not a bad team, but the game is in San Diego. I think San, San Diego State is going to go ahead and win this game. So uh, those are my picks here for week 14. Comment down below. Tell me your picks. Uh, tell me if there's any games you want me to pick. I know I miss a few rivalry games like the one in Illinois, a few group of five rivals. Uh, so go ahead and tell me uh, which games you want me to pick down in the comment section. I'm more than happy to pick them. Give the video a thumbs up. Share the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thanks for watching. With D the Beast here signing off.